Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In this episode, we are done with most of the quests, so yes, let's move on to the next area, McConnell's Field. So yeah, we're gonna go to the story memo, so yes, Agri Agni Rasa can be reached by ascending McConnell's Field. The party must head towards McConnell's Field via Digit 2 plane on the fallen arm and the rotating bulkhead. So I believe we've been there before, so we can actually just warp there if we really wanted to. Digit 2, Digit 2, where is Digit 2? Ah, here it is, Digit 2 plane. So, rotating bulkhead. Let's head there. Oh, fireflies. I think we can survive actually, we're pretty high levels. I really want to try put other people on the team, uh, I really do, but I find that the this is the best combo I can go with. So in any case, uh, Dumbbell is actually pretty good, just that he dies pretty quickly. <laughs> so rip him. Anyways, uh, let's head up. Sure, there's a way around. Wait, we can climb up this? I don't think we climb. Mm. I don't think we climb. Have we climbed up here before? Distant fingertip. I don't think we climb. We don't, actually. We actually go along the side here. This weird pathway that's conveniently enough designed for people to walk on. Uh, so let's uh, move along. Had a uh, tiring weekend, actually. Uh, on call and all that, you know, how it is. Being in the on call support. At least I'm done already, so. Uh, hopefully, we can do more videos now that uh, most of our simulcast has actually finished. And we actually had one simulcast that uh, actually resumed, and that was uh, uh, Digimon, which was earlier this morning. Take a look at this. This will be the last time. You'll see the light of day. You see the the ocean looks poisonous too. See? You can see the difference there. That's clear. This is like dark blue as if it was poisonous. Bionis and Mechonis. Oh, it's so different seeing them from this kind of perspective. We cannot see it from here. But our people are still fighting up there. It's difficult to believe that two such huge things ever fought each other. I wonder how the Machina felt at the time. Must have been... horrible. Scary, too. Fear robs us of reason. Out of fear, we commit terrible atrocities. And call them acts of self-preservation. Fear gives rise to more fear. A never-ending circle of hatred. Perhaps... that circle can be broken. Fear. It must be what's driving this. What's made Egil act this way. Oh... Oh... Anyways, let's move along. Magically appeared. And I think our quest item is already on screen. So, yep, yeah, welcome to McConnell's Field, everyone. Uh, well, we haven't officially entered the area. Let's see how the music sounds like. I think we should be able to get by pretty easily. I hope. I really hope so. 
Oh, look at the poisonous water down there. Snow transistor. Hello everyone, yes. Welcome to McConnor's Field. Yes, our home away from home. Well, not really, but whatever. We're inside the Mechonis. Just how I imagined it. It's all totally mechanical. It ain't gonna be easy getting up this thing. Egil is at the top. Wow. Talk about... <laughs> Talk about modern looking design. I was wondering if there's anything back here, you know? You always have to be curious. Maybe there's an item back here. You know, there's, like, if I was a game developer, I'd probably put something back here. A rare item or something. There's a lot of platform down th There's some platforms down there. Um, okay. Uh, last time there used to be collectibles up here, but... There's no item? Okay, good. Let's go this way. I bet there's a lot of mechons here. It'd be good to put Dunban out up in front, actually. You can just whack all these monsters to death. What's that green? What level are they? 54, we're actually... We're pretty ahead of ourselves, aren't we? There's an item down here. Ah, but you know. Ah, the history of Makanis. I forgot I had the side quest set. Okay, yeah. So basically these are used to dodge the enemies, I think. You can just get around enemies. Line of view just by hiding down here. Of course we can take we can technically take on these enemies if we wanted to. Yeah, why not? Ricky steal item. <laughs> no. Oh crap. I was thinking of changing our gems a bit, but that's is adequate. We got burned. Okay. We might as well go murdering all these enemies. Why not? I actually like that. We can build up our party gauge much faster. Oh, why not? I have, I have, I have faith in our team. Oh, I didn't just fall off the cliff. Ricky steal item. Oh no, Ricky went faster. Oh goodness. We might as well sit down and do these. Uh, what do you call it? Ah, 
Well. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yes. Oh, that was probably one of the best battles yet. It just doesn't want to come towards you, and then suddenly you just throw it down the hole. Any case, first floor, ground floor. I think you, I think you need power to operate this lift. Oh no! Oh, we're going down, not up. But that can't be right. I'm not sure there's anything down here in the first place. Anything? Can't really tell because you have to be swimming in this thing. Ricky, please don't kill yourself. Nah, there's nothing down here. So let's head back up the floor. This is actually the wrong lift. Because I remember the lift technically needs to be powered up first. Ooh, there's an E setting. And I think there's an item here. Hold on. Make sure we get everything, and then I believe we'll s either stop uh, stop the video at halfway through up the tower. Ah, yeah, I was right. There's a monster here. How on earth do you get down there? Hmm. We'll figure that out at some point. There's something here. It's a quest item. Bronze wood, yeah, I think most of the items you can actually find in here. Uh, no, let's go this way. Yep, a monster awaits us. I want to see how dumb Banyu does. Why does every monster wants to attack me? Oh, we're almost close. Yes! Nice, we killed it. <laughs> Somehow. Such a cheapster battle, man. Oh yeah, I forgot you can actually do this. You can just push them off platforms and they'll die instantly. Oh, that was that was just brilliant. That's the second time already I did that. That I murdered a monster like that. I did not know you could actually do that. But oh well, I I, I didn't expect it to work on a larger monster. Uh, yeah, that was quite funny. Like yeah, woohoo! I was like, whoa, he's good. He's backing up. He's backing up. Then it just fell in. Like, I wonder if you can do it with this one. Oh, Ricky just poisoned it. I think everyone has their default move set. Ricky steal item. Oh, there's two enemies. I didn't realize there was two. Let's keep on going like this, guys. Yes, I know, Shala. We are doing our best here. I don't know how long this will take to get us up. I want to do it halfway up first, and probably do quests if possible. Oh my God, we have to fight through hordes of enemies. Very annoying. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, good job, Ricky. Wow. Shield Soul is really good. Monado. Perfect. And we need to power up the goddamn thing. What's up, Shulk? Look, it's a switch to activate a lift. If we can get it to work, it should take us up. Ricky want to ride lift? We can't. There's no power going to it. And how would he know? Boring! What do we do? Well, if we could find the main power supply... Okay, people, let's get looking. Yeah. If we can connect the power to the switch, we should be able to use the lift. Okay. I want to try put the aiming for the top. So, yep. So we can't go up because some idiot just turned off the switch, coincidentally. And I think there's an enemy here waiting for us. Oh, there's something down here. Ground flower switch. But before we go down, I think there's an Ether thing back here. No? Yes? Oh, it's a quest item. Retro diode. Okay. Oh yeah, we didn't do any of the, we didn't do any collection quests for the uh, Colony Six rebuild. I think we better do that soon. Maybe we'll do it halfway up before we take on Agil or before we reach Makane City, the second half of the climb. It's actually quite long. Now we have power, and somehow there's no monsters here. I remember last time there were monsters guarding this, the, that power switch. So it was tough. Yeah, it's calling, it's calling. Okay, let's go. Adios, amigos, let's go. Up the lift. Oh goodness. Okay. okay, so the third lift, so we're not quite done yet. So immediately tells us that we have to kill activate another lift. This is actually quite dangerous, you do not want to fight them on the platform, but you probably want to edge them onto the platform. Edge them off. So just to troll them. So I'm not sure where is the power switch. See, the game even lets you bypass them if you really don't feel like fighting. But then the problem is you'll experience pretty... Oh, you actually go down this way. Let's see if we can bring, lure them here. Come here. There we go. It's much better. Special move! Ricky steal item! Yes, good job Ricky. It's always good to have Ricky stealing stuff. Yeah, we're handling these enemies no problem. Yes, Ricky, we know. Kind of your thing, actually. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay, we're doing it somehow. 
We are actually pretty high level. Two healers, which is pretty good. Oh! <laughs> That's a quest item. To make the boots. Oh, yeah! Okay, okay. I think I know what that is. I think she's the one that we're gonna meet later. Once we are halfway up. Interesting. A lot of things we're picking up early, actually. I'm actually pretty surprised that we are picking up these items early. You can fight all these if you want to, but... Uh, again, I said if you're doing side quests, it should be pretty easy for you. So now, actually we have that memory fragment that we were looking for earlier. So now we need to carefully climb down and not die. I think there's another quest item down here as well. So let's see how far we can go. Uh, down we go, Shulk. Let's go this way. I hope there's no monsters down here. Probably there isn't, and there shouldn't be one. Yep, two out of four. Bring this out. So yeah, we're gonna work on our crystal thing at some point, and then we'll see our team level up, and we're just going to just crush this place. So our objective here is mostly just kill enemies that get in your way. You don't have to fight every single one of them because the game literally allows you to skip the monsters. Because like I said, you can. Most of the time, it's just a side quest that will help you get through. Not fighting monsters. You can fight them to level up, but it probably will take you some time uh, to level up. Compared to doing side quests where you get a lot of... ching. I don't know what this switch is for. Is this a lift? Cylinder activation panel. Okay. I should go this way. Ooh, this is dangerous. Imagine if you were to fall off. Man, that's freaking dangerous. We're just gonna follow what what a normal person would actually do in this situation. Let's try to skip the monster. I don't know how Ricky you got there, but okay. I think there's an item down here too. Okay, oh look how rusty that is. You see steak plant, whatever that is. First floor main power switch, and we turn it on. Okay, let's head this way. Okay, where are we supposed to go? I'm actually pretty lost at the moment. You can actually go along here and explore a bit. Never know, these might be quest items. So I assume this is the lift that will bring us up. Okay, I'm not sure there's a cylinder thing, but I don't think this will bring us up. It's actually that one that will bring us up. Uh, you can just let them come after you. I would like to drag them out here. 
Catch me if you can. That'd be easier for me to kill you. Is it still following us? Wow. I'm actually amazed. Nice. So I think this creates a shortcut back. This is technically a shortcut or what? Let's try go up this area. Let's see where this goes. Second observation post. Wow, it looks freaking dangerous. Especially this one though. This looks like a platform and you probably don't want to fall off. So I'm just gonna save you in case we die. Because you can technically reload the area. And I think there was one particular area that I always get stuck. There's a mon- there's a... Oh my god, look at that. Destroyer Sal- Salve- Salvation, whatever that is. I could have sworn there was- that in the previous game, there are monsters that will appear here. For some reason, I don't see it. Are we sure we're on the right level? Haha, <laughs> I think our, our uh, objective went a little bit off course. Okay, let's go. Let's see how far we can go. Veer off to the side here. Yeah, I think the power for this one is not connected. Okay. Scene below. I'm not quite sure exactly. I'm just simply just following through. Because we activated the first and second floor. Someone did it. Wow. Marvel at the engineering. <laughs> it's 
Somehow we skipped all the monsters above and below and everywhere else. However, I think we're gonna struggle a little bit here. Okay, I think remember this took me hours to get up. It's absolutely frustrating. Okay, let's bring a lift. See, there's normal normally on the lift there will be items. But not this time apparently. Anyhow, let's uh, climb up even further. Yeah. To the third floor we go. Opening the bulkhead. Yeah, this is the one. This is the part where it gets a little bit tricky. Just a tad tricky. And I see the item is already on the map. The memory piece thing. Back here, I think there's an E setting back here. Might as well check while we're here. Collectopedia. Nope. Oh wait, we need that crap. Oh well, whatever. Ew, that's interesting. Crap, I accidentally put the item there. The one for the quest involving the mother thing. But it's okay, we'll do it in the next video, hopefully. Oh god. Why is there a hole here? I hope we can make up for the loss. Nope, probably not. Anyhow, let's check this side. Nope, there's nothing. Okay, very good. And the, oh, the bulkhead is closed, so we can't go out just yet, as you can see here. So even if you try, this door. It's like bang. Let's try. Ooh, it's tough. Oh, yeah. Didn't even do that much damage though. Let's 
Trent's down. Ricky, please heal me. Thank you. Well, uh, we're getting murdered this week. Let's see if we can survive. Perfect. Oh, we're doing quite well for ourselves. Perfect combo there. Another vision. We have shields for goodness sake. Oh, it's a quest item. <laughs> Kazut said he wants to make a gun that's just right for him. He said he needs two reinforced thrusters, didn't he? We should take them to him. Interesting. Awesome. Oh, okay, we got two of them too. Oh, that's um, pretty cool. Okay, bronze wood, we managed to make up for it. Although I regret putting it in the item thing. Is there any item here? Nope, okay, we can move on. Doing quite well for ourselves. Okay, let's do it. Wow, we are just wrecking this place. We could just sit here and fight for hours. So we tried to cut time a bit. Yes, we can. Shulk. And we just whack that monster. So yeah. I think by the time we're done, we already have... We would have the complete items needed for the quest. I'm actually pretty confident in our team now. Oh, there's something here. Uh, let's see what's down here. Has to be something mysterious if it weren't on the map. Where does this go? I think it's one of those memory things. Okay, item. Whatever that is. And then we have to cross this platform in case we die. Save first. So we don't lose our progress. I have the tendency to mess up, especially when it comes to platforming. I'm not that good at it. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Isa. Yes, give me all. Okay, perfect. We're gonna work on that before we take on uh, a, a semi boss. <gasps> Shoot, 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 don't fall off. Whew, that was close. I almost fell off there. That would be seriously annoying too if he actually fell off. Where is this item? I think it's on the other side. It's okay. We'll travel through it first and see how it goes. Let's do it. Offensive. So this is gonna be a lot of it. Oh god. Everyone, 
you probably gain a lot of uh, APs here. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna whack it now. Yeah, we did it somehow. Perfect. And we just broke your vision. Anyways, let's move along. Let's kill all these enemies here so that they won't interrupt us. I think we have other enemies coming our way. Oh, we are wrecking this place like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, why not? Uh, come guys. I love it. They're resisting, definitely. Oh, friend just came online to play po Pokemon. Yep, we took a big chunk of his health. Like they say, offense is the best defense. Somehow ah, your roly poly isn't working. Okay, Taurus Helm, nice. Let's see how they program the enemies here. Uh, still a couple of them. I would say take care of this one first. Let it come this way first. The, stra the strategy is not to have so many enemies gang up on you, otherwise you'll be in trouble. So what we're gonna do, bring this guy down. Bring him a bit further. So we won't attract other enemies. Come on. No one seems to notice. Uh, yes. My goodness, this guy's stealing everything. Oh god. <laughs> Wrecked. Oh, 
Ooh, Ricky leveled up first. That's amazing. Okay, let's bring it down. Because last time, I not remember how, how we did it last time. Okay, let's do it. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is trying to get annoying. Bring them closer. Okay, let's do it. I think we can only fight from here. Try to be careful here. The reason why I don't like this is because you get crammed. Being crammed with enemies on you is kind of dangerous. This one first, guys. I'm feeling it. Get rid of the easy ones first, guys. So that we can focus. Because these guys will get really annoying if you don't defeat them in one shot. Not one shot per se. Get rid of them. Get rid of the side enemies first. Then you will take on the big boss. If not, you will have a really hard time. Get rid of this guy first. But this guy attempts to throw Eater. Okay, now we can do it. Oh, Ricky's already poisoned it. Nice. Okay. Okay, it's binded. Okay, perfect. Okay. 
We're doing quite well for ourselves actually. Oh, we are just going all out offensive here. Okay. Provided that my team's doing the healing, it's fine. We can go as offensive as we want. Where is Ricky? God damn it, you. Oh wow, that was amazing. Shoot yourself in the paw. Oh no, Ricky needs paws. <laughs> Charlotte, cut him some slack. Gee, wow, we made it somehow. But what do you mean won't activate? God damn it, this switch is probably somewhere else. Oh dogma. Uh, we just ignore that because we have to activate the switch underneath it actually. Okay. So now we have power. We can open the bulkhead finally enough. Oh, it took a slightly shorter time than I expected it. But what on earth? Maybe because we're higher levels, so we no longer trigger enemies. Wow. This is a good thing. Ah, we can actually see the bulkhead from here. Ah, the gates of destiny. As we call it. And Shulk is yawning now. Oh. Yay, we completed the quest somehow. And now I can go outside. There are several areas we can actually go. Uh, wait, what? There's something here. I uh, guess we have to keep exploring a bit. I noticed there's something on that map over there. See? No one gives a crap of us. Maybe because we are level 60. And of course, the switch. Probably a shortcut or something. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, let's see where we end up. Something on the map. Go right down. Huh. We can technically go back already. I think they are guide guarding something. Probably the item that we're looking for here. Oh goodness, I hate doing loop de loop on these things. Kind of nauseating at times. Uh. Anyways, we can just easily get around this enemy. Alright, guys, we have people to see, you know, sort of thing. We have business. We have appointments here, so sorry, guys. I saw there was a special monster waiting for us somewhere. It's a lot easier. Maybe because I did all the quests beforehand and then properly adjusted my team. So it's a lot easier. Of course, this has actually been my combo for quite some time. Uh, uh, Shulk, uh, Ricky and Sharla. So this is my go-to team for like quite some time, so... Although, except certain areas where we need to change the enemy, uh, the our party, because of some requirement. Oh, uh, yep. This is a secret area, I think.
Okay. Goes me. Just gonna steal this and that. What level are they? Oh, we can actually take these guys on if you wanted to. But don't worry, we'll do that in an. I think there used to be a lot of monster press too. Can we trigger this uh, guy? Yep, we can. Just, I just purposely tried to trigger it. But. Yes, going for the stairs were actually. So where is the final memory fragment thing? I assume all of them are in Makana's field. Uh, let's try get to the bulkhead here. You can actually warp back here if you need to. Never mind, we'll do side quests in another video. Where we will have to re enter this area again anyway. But I don't think we have that much to do anyway, so we'll see. Uh, no promises though. We'll see if we. Let's keep moving, moving up the stairs. Oh my god, we have to backtrack our way actually even though we can technically just warp there yeah we can I'm too lazy yeah I'm just gonna warp let's go to the open door and get all the items that we need for our quest quest completed so this is the mother quest My bad. Okay, we're done. So, oh, I think the remaining one's out here. Oh, nice. That's perfect. So, two birds with one stone, I guess. So, let's head out. It's gonna be a long climb. So, Bear with us here, as so we're gonna climb. Ooh, look at that poisonous, murky water. There's actually a secret area that we are, we, are, we can go. I will try to get there, and we're gonna use we're gonna use the help of our save and load here, so that we can save time on climbing. So we're gonna stop there, technically. So, so you can find this secret area. Oh, it's a machina. Hello. Okay. Oh, what was that? And there's a, there's the remaining item that we're looking for. I don't think there's any other path that we can take, unless you want to suicide jump. But yeah, let's. I saw the item already that we need to collect and yes it involves sliding down this dangerous slide I don't know it's against health and safety definitely it's definitely against health and safety I think you can go along here da -da 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 -da. Another secret area. Now this one you have to be careful here. So we're almost at our objective here. But we want to uh, get a warp point to this secret area. So what we're gonna do. Gonna save. And now we're gonna carefully coordinate our slide. We're gonna slowly Coordinate our slide. Yes, we we have to moonwalk our way down. Okay, slowly. Uh, his memory of Maconis. Okay, let's slowly, slowly, slowly. 
Slowly. Slowly. Slowly. Okay. Actually, the area that we're supposed to go to is actually a little bit higher, so that was just to get an item. There's another area we're supposed to go to, which is slightly higher. Okay, let's have let's jump on. Woohoo! There's actually a higher level that we can go. So let's keep going. Who knew Xenoblade has so much to explore? <laughs> uh, it's so fun. It's breathtaking, it's tiring, but yes, it's fun too. So actually if you notice, the battle scar thing has actually a slightly higher... There's actually a lot more that meets the eye, so you can see here. That is where we're trying to go. You see that opening there? Yeah, that's where we're trying to go. So that's... Try to go there before we move on. Bang! So now we go this way instead of this way. Don't worry, we'll go this way first because we want to get that uh, hidden area. I don't know, I'm confident that we are able to get through this area quickly. We'll try. You're gonna see it. I'm gonna show you everything that I can. This is not a secret area, unfortunately. So this is a little bit more dangerous uh, because it's a lot more steeper, as you can see. Uh, I wonder if we can use our moonwalking technique to get down there. And there's a quest. There's an item. I don't know what it is. Okay. Before you do, take advantage of our save mechanic. So, save. Okay. Now, slowly go down. I'm gonna edge off here. Okay. And then slowly ease a bit on your control stick to slow down. So we wanna head over there actually. Okay, slowly, 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 slowly. Perfect. We have actually reached the secret area. I don't know what is up there, but whatever. Anyways, this is the secret area we're looking for, actually. So now we climb up, and lo and behold, we have reached the another secret area. If I think, maybe not. Woo! Machina Refuge. Okay, so we have a quest here. Okay, so this is actually just fighting monsters. Monster quest. So you'll have all the monster quests for this area. What do you need? So let's just pick up all the monster quests. So this is apparently where we get the quest. I think this one's to my loved one, the quest. So it's her. Hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. Yeah, 10,000. We are gonna level up soon here. So we're gonna get a couple more quests here. Oh, Machina Boots. I think we do have some of those items. And I think we have a lot of all of them. Let's try. See if we can complete this quest in one hit. Two out of two. Yeah, we did it. Perfect. Best boots. We actually completed this quest because we were you know, exploring, so Me. we have everything. 
Perfect. All done. <laughs> no pawn dead. Quest completed. Oh wow. Perfect. So there's a shop here. I think yes. this does sell either. No, it doesn't. Okay, fine. Okay, sure. We accidentally cleared all the quests, unfortunately. So this is a monster quest. Challenge quest. Anyways, uh, I think we will just keep on going, I guess. I uh, don't think there's anything else we can do at this point. Machina Refuge. So we just warp back here, so it's easy. And just get up here, quickly. No! No! Damn it! Uh, he's dead. I can't go on. Epic fail. <laughs> Sorry guys, I didn't... I over-coordinated that jump. Yeah, that would have been a better achievement record thing. I have to be careful how I jump on these things. So sometimes over-jumps the thing, the platform, and then, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, uh, let's get to our... let's continue our journey upwards, because we are not done yet. So, yeah. Actually, I'd rather make it night time so it's a little bit more romantic. There we go. Ah, that looks a bit better. Whoa! Don't look down! Anyone know where we are? Other than high up? Maybe somewhere around the thigh? The thigh? You mean we ain't even halfway there yet? Stop moaning about it. Look, we can make camp over there. Let's rest for a while. Fiora, are you sure you're feeling okay? I feel a bit like... I haven't got used to this body yet. But please, whatever you do, don't tell Shulk about it. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dunban. Don't worry about it. Back when my arm was injured, it was you who took care of me. I'd almost forgotten. It seems so long ago now. Thanks, Ryan. Doing a spot of maintenance? Yeah. The sighting's been a bit off lately. You know, Mikko let us have some new parts. I could make you a new rifle if you want. Thanks. But I... I want to keep using this one for now. Shulk, get a clue, man. It's more than just a weapon to her. She can't just throw it away and get a new one. Yeah. I suppose so. <laughs> if she let anything happen to it, I bet she'd get a whack from old Atharon. <laughs> Doesn't my man ever rest? <laughs> Not a chance. The lives of everyone in the colony rely on the defense force. Our readiness and our will to keep on fighting. 
We never know when the Mekon will strike next. No. But I won't let anyone else die. men in Fortress 3 alone. Listen to me. Nobody knew that so many Mekon would come. More people would have died if it wasn't for you. It's not about reducing casualties. We lost 30 men. And we've lost the Fortress. Those men died for nothing. Would their deaths have meaning if we'd won? <sighs> Yes. At least they would have died for something. This is the end now. It's either the Mekon or us. I don't care if I'm the last man standing. I'll take them down! Hey, Ryan. What is it? Do you want to beat the Mekon? Of course. What are you asking that for? At any cost? Even if it means giving your own life? Giving my own life? No way. I can't do anything if I'm dead. I'm gonna take down the Mekon and survive. And there's no way I'm gonna lose Shulk, Fiora or you along the way. We're all gonna win this and get out alive. If only we all fought like you. What do you mean? It's charming. What? We should get moving. We don't have time to hang around. Ryan, did you rest well? Yeah. I feel great! It looks like we're about to re-enter the Mekonis. Brace yourselves. Got it. Just my imagination. Okay, wow, that was a long cutscene there. Uh, my plan is uh, we'll try to make it up the tower, uh, Maconis thing before the boss battle. And then. Uh, I'm not sure how. It's kind of a tricky video to do anyway. Because uh, planning the video is not. Okay, my plan was actually to stop recording halfway up, but I guess it's just a it's such a minor minor thing left to do. So yeah, we're back inside the Maconis. And I think we have to find something to open the gate. Oh uh, god, I have to fight these guys. Uh, I'm crying in tears right now. Ah, so Rage has now gone all the way up. 10,000. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'll focus on the Monado, sh Monado skills, so at least we can survive. Something down there. Anyhow. Anything else we can add in here? Bug. Okay. Bug. And a bug. Oh yeah. Anyhow. Oh god. You think these guys will attack us? Why not? We'll just fry them now. Okay. Yeah. Hey, not bad. I think we can do it. We can spend a little bit more time. Okay, I'm planning two videos actually. Now I come to think of it. Oh, I hate these skill arts that take forever to charge. Team is holding up pretty nicely. One more to go. Wow, Ricky's just poisoning everything. I think that's a Isa Diba and slow. Okay. Yes. Yes, we need power. Okay, I want to see what. Uh, we're gonna do a quick pit stop here. what Ricky can power up. Perfect, all arts are balanced. So is, Char so is Charles. So we're gonna one by one go up. Okay, so she's almost at maxed. Ryan also at max. Okay, perfect. Melia, let's see what you can do. I think. We make sure everyone levels up evenly their uh, skill. So, it looks perfect.
I think we're perfect, actually. Looks pretty nice, our team. So, now we have to go find the power supply thing. I'm not sure what's here. I think this is a challenge quest or something, monster quest. Uh, you can do other either side. Should be fine. I remember in the previous game there was monsters here as well. Game tells go this way first. Will these attack us? No. Guess we're pretty high leveled. And then, eh, uh, nothing. This will probably go after us, but it's okay. Oh yeah, we have to go in the center in a minute. <sighs> what is this? Is it having power saving mode, is it? <laughs> oh goodness me. Let's try finish the video here a bit. And my second plan my other plan, okay, this is how the video is going to be. So, what, just before the boss battle, we are going to stop recording. Then, fight the boss and move straight on to the second half of the area. So, it's a little bit better. See, no one gives a crap. Which is a monster quest? Uh. Uh oh. Better not. <laughs> Level 60. And I'll come back a bit later to do that. Not now. Uh, unconventional way of doing it. Yeah, pretty high levels. Perfect. They're resisting. There we go. It's taking so long. Just pull out the Monado skill. Okay. Let we get some cool new weapons. Yeah, you can fight them if you want, but I have people to see, you know. I have people to do, we have things to do, so. Then we have to head to the center to actually activate the power supply. And I think there are more enemies along the way, so. Just be careful. You have been warned, there are enemies. There's one that's flying this way, so just let it pass.
Okay, let's go down the stairs. And there are enemies down here, and because we're high leveled, I don't think it should trip the enemy down there. Okay, let's see. What level is that guy? Uh, probably wouldn't mind our presence anyway. Ding! Power on! And now we need to connect the switch. Oh my goodness, what a pain. The switch on the power supply. See? Doesn't mind us. This is like, eh. Yes, yeah, the levels do actually affect uh, if the monsters do come after you, especially the the ones that don't have the blue marker on them. The blue markers definitely will come after you if they see you. However, the ones that normal and even have the eye icon, if you're higher above, slightly higher above them, they won't come after you. So it seems like this one. This will definitely come and attack us if it sees us. So now we're not quite done yet. We are supposed to engage it to connect the power supply together. Oh crap, we could just jump down there. So much easier. So now we actually have to go this way. Then back this way. Onto the main road. See, this guy is like meh. Very good. This one will probably attack us. So just stay far to the left here and it should be fine. So now we need to connect the power supply together. This will connect the thing together, and yay, we have power! Woo! And I bet monsters are waiting for us up there. No doubt in my mind. So we're just gonna walk up there because if we like walk, uh, fast travel, we will reload the area and fight those monsters again. I really don't want to do that because it's wasting my time. Monster quests are not really worthwhile to do. See if you don't trip the enemy. Good, we're heading back up again. Okay, so I remember last time uh, I was severely underleveled. Now we have enemies everywhere. Okay, I remember how, how I did it last time. Hold on, there's a little trick you can do. I'm just gonna see if it still works in this game. I'm going to. Change the party. Put Ricky in front because he has a smaller hitbox. Maybe not. Let's see if we can actually. Okay. Yep. <laughs> it still works. <laughs> yes. That was that was absolutely brilliant. Uh, I can't believe that it still works from the previous game. I remember on the from the 3DS version I was playing, so yeah. How you skip it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't encourage you doing to do that if you're under levels because this next enemy here will be pretty high level. Traveling up, and we should have a landmark up here. Should be a landmark here so we can fast travel here anytime. Oh, why is it taking so long to reach the top? Ding ding ding! Oh, don't fall off. Let's see if we can trigger a landmark here. Or if you're just gonna go straight for the boss barrel and. Should trigger a landmark. There we go. This is what we want. So yep, there is actually we're gonna we are going to stop recording here. Uh, yep. So that is it for this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, sorry, not two. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I always I'm so used to saying Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So yep. Join us in the next episode where we will take on um, the boss for this portion of uh, Makana's field. And then actually after this we have a second part where we continue upwards. So the next video will be fighting this boss. Hopefully we can defeat it quickly. And then afterwards uh, we, are going uh, we are going straight for gold. And up the second half of the Makanis field to reach the Makanis capital. So yep, see you in the next episode. Take care, bye bye.